Lewis Cass was born in Exeter, New Hampshire, October 9, 1782. Lewis attended school in his native town during his early years and in 1799 moved with his father's family to Wilmington, Delaware, where he became a school teacher. In 1800, he went to Marietta, Ohio, where he studied law in the office of Governor Meigs and was admitted to the Ohio Bar in 1802 when he was only 20 years of age. In 1803, he began the practice of law at Zanesville. In 1806, he married Elizabeth Spencer of Virginia. President Thomas Jefferson appointed him United States Marshal of Ohio in 1807. He served in that post until 1813. And he served with distinction in the War of 1812, first as Colonel of the 3rd Ohio Volunteers and afterwards as Brigadier General. The close of that war found him in command in Michigan with headquarters at Detroit. In 1813, he was appointed Governor of the Territory of Michigan and served with distinction for 16 years. During this time, he negotiated 22 distinct treaties with the Indians, securing the cession to the United States government of the immense regions of the Northwest. In 1831, he was appointed Secretary of War in President Jackson's cabinet. In 1836, he was appointed United States Minister to France. In 1842, he resigned this position and returned home. In 1845, he was elected to the United States Senate and served until 1848 when he resigned and accepted the Democratic nomination for the presidency. After the election of that year, in which he was defeated, he was re-elected to the Senate for the balance of his original term, and in 1852 was again a prominent candidate for president. In 1857, he was appointed Secretary of State in President Buchanan's cabinet, but when this president refused to reinforce and reprovision Fort Sumter, he promptly resigned, thus terminating a distinguished and honorable public career of 56 years. He was raised as a master mason on May 7, 1804, in American Union Lodge No. 1 in Marietta, Ohio. He was active in masonry in that state and was elected Most Worshipful Grand Master of Masons of Ohio on January the 10th, 1810. After the organization of the First Grand Lodge of Michigan, July 31st, 1826, he was elected Most Worshipful Grand Master and held this office during the existence of that body. The anti-Masonic crusade swept over the country at about that time, and Brother Cass recommended that all Masonic work in Michigan be suspended. He installed Brother John Mullet as Grand Master in 1844 upon the organization of the present Grand Lodge. He retained the highest respect for Masonry during the remainder of his life. He died on June 11, 1866.